today we're going to give you a little bit of a tutorial on how to make yourself a bit of funky wall art we're going to be doing the letter l like this one but we're going to be using a bit of a different color combination and we're going to be using the spectrum aqua pens so what you're going to need is a selection of colors this one here i did with the crimson heather uh, the blossom and the rose pink uh, but the one we're going to be doing today is going to be with kingfisher sea green and then i'm going to bring the rose pink in as well possibly a little bit of crimson we'll just go with the flow and see what happens and again we may even put in the heather so we're just going to go with the flow but i'll go through the names of them as we do them i've already pre-cut the letter that we did for this one and we're going for the letter L being February and the month of love we're going to be using that letter but of course you can if you're into your hand lettering you can hand letter the one that you want on there but what we're going to be doing is masking it off so everything on the inside will stay white so we're literally going to very lightly draw around the outside of our letter and this is our guide for when we use our masking fluid. If you're not familiar with masking fluid, it's just a, a latex glue that comes off very easily when you don't need it anymore. And that is to protect paint from going into the areas that we don't want it. So I'm just gonna draw around, do our little diamond on the inside. So that's all pre-drawn for us, tidy that little line up a bit. Tidy up any lines that you want to before you put the paint down, otherwise once the um, pencil is underneath the paint you're not going to be able to get it off. So we're just simply using a bit of masking fluid and an old tool that you can get from a, a compass set and it just works almost like a fountain pen. And we're going to go on the inside of the letter. You don't want to go too thick because as it dries sometimes the air bubbles can pop and then you're not left with a clean line. And I've just tacked the corners down as we're going to be using quite a bit of water on here. You can go all the way around the edge if you want to. Some line people like to get that nice clean edge but I like the the messy effect okay note to myself I've done that wrong so what we're gonna do is dab that away what we actually want to do on the diamond is go around the outside because it's the inside that we need to do and a bit more there okay so that's all masked out ready and that will continue drying while we do the rest of it. So we're going to work on up here and then we're going to come down and we're going to go really messy so this is the joy about this you don't have to be a, a really precise artist you can just have fun with this. What I may do is actually start with greens and blues and work down into to the pinks and the purples so we've got a bit of an ombre effect. So let's go in with the sea green and we're just when we're not being precise we're just making a mess we're making marks with our pen we're not worried about where they go we're just getting those colors down on paper now where you're leaving some completely white this will help give you a, a clean water effect some will areas will be dark, some areas will be light, and that's what helps give you that mottled natural. So we're not brushing, I'm simply dabbing that water on. If you use too much of a brushing motion, the colours start to get muddy and they blend in too much. You do want the occasional 
dry bit of blue left or dry bit of green left it doesn't all have to be covered in water it's just about softening those edges and getting them to bleed into each other now we want the letter to be prominent so we want to come right down into that letter so we're just gonna you can go over on wet card but you need to remember that it will take the color away from your nib and actually that's Working in sections like this means that you can keep the ombre a bit cleaner. So it doesn't matter if we keep some whites, you know, we've got some really nice dry effects in here. Potentially we're gonna go a little bit more with the purple. Just to darken that area near our letter. Begonia, and actually I'm gonna bring in the peach as well. Um, and then I'll see what we're like afterwards to whether or not I'll add some of that crimson but we're sort of going lighter now in our tones so not only have we got a colour ombre we've got a, a tonal ombre as well Can you imagine this in a teenager's room or you know an artist's study something bright for the kitchen you don't have to just do a letter you know imagine the word family love all those um, quotations that you see around at the moment you can play on those imagine you know maybe someone's wedding anniversary you could have their date instead of a letter all these little things that can make a real personal touch and make them lovely gifts so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bottle just of plain water now this side has dried quicker than this side but that's not a problem because it will just add to the overall effect so on the wetter side it will just help the blending on the drier side if you leave it it will draw some of that color out now you can get your hair dryer now the reason i was able to get so close with the hair dryer is because it's on call i've got a call button on my hair dryer uh, which means that you can get a bit closer to because you want to draw the air through the paper gives you that strong blown effect in some of the areas so you get some real fun playful effects um, you can see we sort of ombre out a little bit here now this is lovely but I think we could do with just a little splash of something so what I may do is just bring the heather down and where the paper is still slightly wet it will automatically soften your markers as you go but we just want to add a little bit just to bring out that colour you don't want to overwork it as I say it will soften naturally because the paper is still slightly wet and we're going to go in again with the rose pink maybe just to get some more depth on there we don't want too much because we don't want to lose that soft ombre that we have going on now what we want to do to create, like for example here, it's almost got like that bleached effect on there. Now that's done in, in two ways. One way is to apply some drops while it is dry. And another way is to use uh, paint. So you want it quite a wet paint so it's, it becomes translucent. You don't want it too opaque. Um, and what we do want to do is the middle. I'm literally going to put just a couple of dots of colour because it's such a small area we don't want it to bleed too much. So just to wetten it to help it to bleed in. So while that's drying I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to get some water on certain areas. And if you want sort of that Bushed splat effect that's my technical term there you can go in you can do it with your brush and you'll get like a long row and just have as much fun as you like with it it really is just enjoying it and going with the flow that's what I love about these pens the pigments are so rich that even when it's washed out you get a real fun effect this has had time hopefully to have a bit of a soak so we're going to get a clean bit of kitchen towel and we're going to dab that up and it gives us a real subtle
area that it has taken almost like a bleached effect now the bottom is still dry I'm um, drying here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry that again with the hairdryer and then I'm going to add some more water to give it even more depth okay so I've dried it a little bit and I've put some more blobs of water on we're just going to go over them and take them out now they're beautiful and subtle and once the paper is even drier then they'll become more prominent because the, the paper is still drying through it has to be a hundred percent dry all through it for it to be able really to be noticeable now the the final part that we want to be doing is the white paint and what you could do this with is a lovely bit of the the spectrum glitter pens you can get some real fun things going on but another great use for the the pens is our splattering now the the drier your brush the smaller and more precise your dots will be the wetter your brush the larger they will be and they will dissipate and become more translucent we don't want to go too much it's just to brighten it up um, now you can protect the inside if you want to do different color splats for example you know just have fun with it all and you want to protect that middle bit just get the letter that you've cut out lay it over and then just carry on having fun now for the uh, the, the process of the, the tutorial to speed things up for you I am going to go over it with a hair dryer so you can see it all once it's completely dry okay, that just dries it off enough to the point now where we can take that masking fluid off and there's a couple of ways you can do this you can either just rub it off with your finger or if you get a, a rubber and just catch the side of it then you can also rub it away but I find it just as easy to just rub it with the, the finger as long as your finished image is dry this does absolutely no harm at all as long as you don't go too heavy so we've got this real subtle L in the middle of our piece if it was for a gift for example and you wanted to add a little bit extra in there you could put the OVE and have love in there or you could spell laugh life anything like that just have fun with it create what you want to create be as bold with the colors as you want to be and that would make a lovely gift for anybody you know you can imagine seeing that in a, a teenager's room a baby's room you know you could have a birth announcement their birth date on there anything the possibilities are endless so there you have it have fun. I shall pop all the tools that we've used today and the colours in the information section for you.